house was a, was a wedding present. It was really a lure. My mm -hmm. grandfather wanted his daughter and her new family to come back to New York, and they were living in Paris, and the way to lure them back was to find the right place, and that was a house with a great yeah. studio. So they came, sight unseen, 1958, oh. with a babe in arms. It was the studio of Daniel Chester French, the great sculptor. The Lincoln Memorial in Maquette was made here. Although I grew up here, this is not my house. It's my mother's house, and it's an expression of her and who she is and what she's made of her life. This is the place that she lived in with her first husband, a painter, Gonzalo Fonseca, and raised her four children, Kina, the eldest. She's a costume designer, a milliner, a wonderful maker of things. Bruno, my older brother, who was a painter, died in 1994, but left a great body of work. And my next brother, Kaya Fonseca, is also a painter and composer and musician. And then me. My parents, as working painters, really didn't see painting as decoration. They were there to be looked at. Yeah. And then they would be replaced by something else that you wanted to look at. At the table made by Gonzalo, our father, he encouraged us to do graffiti in it. See, um, there's a circle and you could write whatever you wanted. He said, you can do whatever graffiti you want as long as it's good graffiti. Everyone in this family is a scavenger and there was a lot of holing of street junk. Yeah, and fun. And thrift shops, we're all mad for that. Mom, you were a great collector of friends, well, young and old. Yeah. And some of them lived upstairs at different times in their <laughs> lives. This was a house of poets, and, but also kids who felt really at ease coming in and sometimes staying past welcome. Gonzalo made us blocks, and those were the toys. Abby was making stuff making all the time. Making stuff. That was a natural thing around That's here. I wrote my first story, actually, for Donald Bartholomew. I'd gotten caught shoplifting. Donald was a neighbor and a great friend of my mother's, and he said, well, why don't you write about it? That kind of was my start. Your start as a shoplifter or your start as a writer? <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Very funny lady. <laughs> People, when they tire of a space or their family shape changes, they move. And the way it used to be, there was no question of moving. This was home, this was the family house. And instead, you would renovate, maybe change the house, <laughs> add a floor. The studio became a living room. Staircases were moved, but the family remained. And my mother is still here. 